What's up guys? I'm back with another S35 VN test. Oh, another one. Uh, this is the Microtech Socom Elite that one of my local friends uh, let me borrow for testing. Literally just got done sharpening it. It was a beast to sharpen. Uh, the grind gets mega thick near the tip and it took me forever and it wore me out so I'm tired now. Uh, and that kind of worries me because I just bought a Microtech just like this except in a different steel that's supposed to be more wear resistant. So mine is going to be very difficult to sharpen it appears. But I laid about a... 38 degree edge on this I would say somewhere in between there somewhere in between 38 and 42 no probably somewhere in between 36 and 40 anyway same deal since I did find that S35 VN seems to work with a a toothier edge you may notice that the the actual bevel was polished um, I did that on purpose just to give my friend Alex a, a nice looking knife um, what I did was I sharpened it on the Edge Pro and took it to 10,000 grit and then I went and took my brown uh, Spyderco profile rods and laid sort of a pseudo micro bevel on it. So the Edge has some tooth for sure. I mean it's it has some tooth but it's still like wicked sharp. Um, initial sharpness is just screaming. It screams through paper when it has a toothy edge. I mean there is no no resistance whatsoever. So let's get to it. Same deal, roughly nine feet of 3 8 inch sisal rope. Uh, I'm interested to see how this knife cuts. The shenanigan may have spoiled me because it cuts so well. Um, I'm gonna get a fresh section of wood here and let's just get to the cutting. Oh, that, was, <laughs> that surprised me. Wow. Was not expecting that. Holy crap, this thing cuts better than the shenanigan. Wow. This thing has a beefy like five mil thick blade and it just has a flat grind. I was not expecting it, expecting it to cut that well, but wow, it cuts really good. That makes me like this knife even more. Wow, that's awesome. If I sound surprised, I am. I mean, I was expecting this thing to cut about like a strider or something like that, but wow. Seriously, that is surprising. Anyway, sharpness test. After the first few cuts, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, these toothy edges, I've spent all this money on edge polishing equipment and I'm starting Oh, I'm starting to change my views. I'm liking these toothy edges. Dang, this thing cuts like crazy. Let's see if I can... Look at that. That was a push cut. This is a 5 mil thick blade. That That is... Wow. That's surprising. Yeah, I love this knife. I absolutely love this knife. I'm gonna go ahead and test sharpness again. Just as clean as it can be. Super clean, holy crap. I mean, super clean. This is surprising. This is surprising. After all this crap about S35VN that went on, um, I feel like I need to make a PSA about it because it seems like wherever my name is, wherever S35 is brought up, my name is also brought up and, it, and they act like I'm this anti-S35VN crusader, which I'm not. I am digging the steel right now. Uh, I'm absolutely digging the steel. Whatever made the 
the Chris Reeve and the Native 5 fail my test? I don't know. I can't even begin to pretend like I know because these other S35VN knives are performing well. Like very, very, very well. Gee. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's excellent. Excellent. And this is a fairly thick edge. I mean, it's a thick knife with a, a kind of a thick edge on it. I was not expecting this kind of performance. I didn't, I thought about just not doing this test tonight and putting it off, but I'm glad I did. Uh, yeah, my SOCOM Elite is not going to leave my pocket for a long while. And you see what part of the blade I'm doing the cutting with? Uh, all the wear is located right here, and that's the part I'm doing the, the sharpness test with. Let's go ahead and test sharpness again. Right there in the middle of the blade, here I'll show you. You don't have to take my word for it. You see the wear marks all centered right here. That's where I'm doing the, uh, the rope cutting, and that's where I'm doing the sharpness testing. So let's go ahead and test the sharpness again, in case one of y'all missed that. It's push cutting. It's push cutting phone book paper. Oh, God. I'm loving this. Some people may think that I hate being proven wrong. It's actually the opposite. I love it because... A, I'm learning something new. Uh, B, I'm happy because my views were changed uh, through my own testing. And that's honestly the best way to gain knowledge. Um, I like... I like primary sources of data. I don't, I don't want to go gather data from somebody else. I want to form my own uh, qualitative and quantitative data. But... I love forming a conclusion and then testing it more, or a hypothesis and testing that more and being proven wrong. It, it's beautiful to me. It's honestly beautiful. And that may sound weird to some of you guys, but I have a very inquisitive mind, a very scientific mind, although I'm very, very religious. Uh, and I just love being proven wrong. Every time I'm proven wrong, it means I learned something. This knife is very comfortable as well. The grip tape, honestly, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but it does its job. There is no possible way this knife would come out of your hands while you're gripping it. It's just not going to happen. This thing just cuts so well. Very comfortable. Very, very ergonomic. Um, I do like... I like the way they have this thumb ramp leading up to uh, the pivot and then a thumb ramp leading down from the pivot. That's just a neat design because you have something to push into when you're using it like this and when you're using it with your thumb out, you have something to pull into so your hand just locks in a position no matter what way you're using it. Very smart design. Going to go ahead and test sharpness again. That was a push cut. I'm going to try and slice it. It's just so beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Now, I don't know what hardness Microtech is running this at, but I would assume that it's fairly hard. Because I'm not even getting any edge deformation, meaning I'm not getting uh, rolls or anything. It's just going clean through the paper. That's pretty amazing. Just, if I had to speculate, somebody was asking me to speculate, I would say they're running it probably 60-61, maybe 61-62. I, I don't know, honestly. And it's still grabby. I mean, yeah, that would still cut your skin pretty badly. This is neat. 
Really happy I, I got to test this knife. I'll tell you one thing, I didn't expect the steel to perform this well, but I really didn't expect it to cut this well. I was actually dreading it, thinking it's going to be another uh, 550 test where I'm literally physically worn out by the end of it. And it, you, you may think I'm kind of putting on, I'm exaggerating a little, but <laughs> I'm not. It's, it's hard work. just that you're using it's so repetitive you're using the same muscle group over and over and over and over so if it takes you a lot of force uh, you're pretty quickly worn out to the point that you just can't do it anymore but I'm really really satisfied with this this did not take much force at all I would say it's about like a pair of two maybe better and I know that is crazy just due to the thickness of the blade but <laughs> it cuts really well Still slicing perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Well, not, I, I shouldn't say perfectly. It's, it's got a roll. It now has a roll. It's first roll. But it is still just cutting like a champ. And again, right there where all the wear is centered is where I'm doing the cutting. There you go. You can see it plain as day. No disputing. No disputing that. It's a beautiful thing. Wow. Wow. Amazing. I'm loving this. You see how clean, how clean that cuts. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Again, uh, the bevel is polished to 10,000 grit, but the edge is right around 600 grit. Uh, that's what the brown Spyderco stones are, the profile rod, the 600 grit. So I have a 600 grit edge at just under 40 degrees. And that was the geometry of this knife. And it did very well. Very, very, very well. Thank you, Alex, for letting me test this. Uh, I don't know if you're surprised by this or not, but I can tell you I am. And I'm really happy. Really happy about it. So, anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Um, as always, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you later.